Hello. Hello. We're going to call this vlog Fuck It because we got to Sunday night and I haven't edited the Estes Park footage yet and we haven't recorded a vlog for next week. No. So you're getting this tonight and the Estes Park stuff is going to be patron only. Mm -hmm. Because fuck it. <laughs> because fuck it. It's been a fuck it kind of night for me. Yeah, it kind of has. It really has. Like, <sighs> Brimstone comes out this week. Yes, it does. I've scheduled three episodes. In fact, it comes out the day after this vlog goes public. So Thursday. Thursday, Brimstone comes out. And I recorded the, what they call the dynamic content. The stuff that goes before and after the vlog, I recorded that tonight, and I recorded it in Reaper, which is a wonderful, wonderful, you know, DAW, digital audio workstation. But fuck, is it not what I need? There's only one thing that it could possibly do that I actually need that the free software I've used for doing everything else doesn't have, and that is spectral editing. But it can't even do that without me having to jump through fucking hoops. Yeah. Like, four different... Like, me reading four different professional audio engineer websites, I still couldn't figure out how to do it. So, in the words of Buck Cherry, <laughs> say fuck it and go back to what works. Yeah. And what works is audacity. And in the words of me earlier tonight, I want my audacity back. I do too. Yeah, it's kind of what we run on. We kind of run on audacity. Yeah. Not also literally, but... No, I meant know. literally. Oh, okay. I meant literally. I meant we, attitude. <laughs> yeah, metaphorically and literally, we run on audacity. <clears throat> so yeah, we're going back to audacity. And the only reason that I actually wanted the spectral editing mm -hmm. is that it makes it easier to get rid of mouth clicks, yeah. mouth noise, because I have a lot of it because of my dental issues. And I'm not going to spend four hours trying to figure out how to get rid of a mouth click when I can just edit around them. So Reaper... Figure that shit out, and I'll use the software I paid for. Yeah. Other than that, I'm going back to the free shit that does 99% of everything else with... What what did it take for me to edit that? Five clicks? Just about. To get it where yeah. I wanted it to be, to get a professional yeah. sound out of it, versus Reaper, which involved reading tutorials and, like, setting up, like all sorts of crap to get to the same point that audacity got me in five clicks five clicks yeah and it's not because i know audacity better i'm terrible at audacity so yeah it's been one of those kinds of nights so we're saying fuck it and we're sitting on the floor in the office yeah there's my desk in case anybody wondered what that looked like there's a coffee cup on it right now it's only one cup one coffee cup one pint glass two coffee cups if you count that one but oh, that one has pens in it. That one has pens in it. It doesn't count. It's also made out of wood. It's made out of wood. She got it for me. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. I like it a lot. It's where I keep my special pens. Because everybody has special pens, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. We all have that one pen we like and that other pen we hate. I have a lot of that pen I like because anytime I get down to three, I buy five more. Because <laughs> my lucky special pen is disposable. <laughs> What, so what did we do last weekend? Oh, we went to Estes Park last weekend. We went to Estes I, Park. I, I did mention that in the yeah. opening that hey, you're not getting that shit. Become a patron if you want to see that because that's going to be went, a lot of damn work. We went to the Stanley. We did go to the Stanley. A couple of writers went to the Stanley in during a snowstorm. Snow storm. <laughs> it did not turn out well. <laughs> Actually, it turned out wonderfully. Everybody I mean, there the was the drive great. home was a little sketch. This drive home was sketch, but the drive home would have been sketchier if it had actually been The Shining, because they took <laughs> snowcats. Oh, yeah. No, thank yeah. you. 
Um, but no, the drive home was sketch because we were in a car that is not designed to be outside of a city. And we were driving down the canyon in after a snowstorm. A snowstorm. Yeah. Partially in a snowstorm. Partially in a snowstorm. But that was more when we got to the plains. Yeah. But, yeah, it was... The Stanley is awesome. Yeah. It's expensive. We didn't stay there. No. We did not we, stay we there. We liked the hotel we stayed at. Yeah, we it liked, was our we liked, place. Uh, Murphy's River Lodge. Murphy's River Lodge. Shout out to Murphy's River Lodge. You guys are awesome. And thank you for the room with the full kitchen because we cooked steak. Well, she yes. cooked steak. I ate steak. Yeah, we, they have rooms that they call condo rooms that literally come with a full kitchen, full-size stove and oven, refrigerator. Dude. We were right on this little creek so we could open the sliding door to our little patio and hear water falling well, over Well, for the stones. first day. Yeah, and then it got cold. <laughs> and then the temperature dropped below freezing and we stopped opening the door. The first day it was like... It was like 50 degrees out. Yeah, it was, it was lovely. like 40 to 50. Yeah, yeah. It was, we opened the door and we were like, this is great. We can hear the water. We wake up the next day and like literally the doors are frozen shut because it we're in the mountains. Cold. And we were reminded very quickly that we were in the mountains. Like, and not just, hey, when, we, not just when we went out to uh, <clears throat> go back down to the Highland Bard and spotted three bull elk. Three bull elk in the right field across, across the, the street, street from, from our, our hotel. hotel. That was pretty badass. They're and huge. we'll share those pictures on Patreon too. Yes. Because they're on this phone that I'm recording yeah. on right now. So yeah, we're gonna be a week behind on our vlogs again. And that's okay. We're back to say fuck it. Yeah, pretty much. We'll I mean, we're just gonna be doing the vlogs like this, so they might end up being week of. Yeah. You know, if they're week like in this. review. Yeah, we can do week of. This is like, we're recording this at God knows what fucking time on it's Sunday. after 10. After 10 on Sunday night. So this is like the last three weeks of our lives that you're hearing about. <laughs> Pretty much. So, Brimstone. Brimstone. Brimstone comes out this week. And we toasted to putting that damn season oh, no. in its Sorry. grave. There you go. There's one. Actually, I think it's technically two. Oh, well. We're putting that story in its grave. Yep. That season, because this is the fourth time <laughs> I have remixed Brimstone, and I'm done. Mm -hmm. done. It's time for new. It's over. It's time for we new. Got other stuff coming. Yeah, Spaceman is coming. Spaceman is coming. That sounds vaguely ominous, and I kind of like it. Spaceman is coming. Spaceman is the coming. man who fell to not Earth. The man who fell from Earth. I mean, technically, yeah. So, Spaceman is coming, and Brimstone, The Fall of Man is mm -hmm. coming, and Old Bob, season, we'll say 1B, because <laughs> I did one Old Bob story, and everybody's like, oh my god, I want more Old Bob! So now I have to do a full season of comedy, and I'm not a funny dude. I disagree. I'm not funny. I, I We at the FBI have no sense of humor that we're, that we're aware of. Anyway, so I have to do a whole season of comedy, mm -hmm. and then... Sci-fi comedy. Sci-fi comedy, with a protagonist who doesn't talk. We like to make things hard on ourselves, don't we? We really do. It's yeah. a thing. It's a thing. It's a parallel. Um, and, oh, the other project that I can't talk about that I'm working on with my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a thing. It's becoming an even bigger thing. <laughs> It's, oh, God, what have I done? But, um, don't go into business with your friends. <laughs> I'm sorry, El. I'm doing the best I can, man. I really am. But, <clears throat> so that's coming. I'm, I'm sitting here. <laughs> we're not friends. No, I know, but... We're not but friends. We're it's engaged. Worse than that. It's it's kind of worse and worse and better because we already have a business relationship because we're both on the lease. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, we're kind of beholden to each other already. Um, but yeah. So, what do you have going on? What have you been up to? What have I been up to? What were you doing to? while I was in uh Estes Park? I was in Estes Park. Shit, were you? Yeah. Oh fuck. I have you should a have called. Coming. You should have called me. I would. What we wonderful hung out. timing! We could have hung out while I was in Estes Park. She's gonna sneeze, so I'm gonna keep talking. <laughs> Excuse me. Is there more? 
I think at this point it's just one, which is highly unusual. Bless you. Thank you. Okay. Usually I sneeze in twos. So what you doing now, other than sneezing? And what were you doing while I was in Estes Park? While you were in Estes Park, I was in Estes Park. Oh, no shit. <laughs> I, gotta re I gotta revisit the bit now. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Um, you should have, you should it was a great know. little had lunch or room. I mean, yeah. I'm, did you have a full kitchen? Mine had a full kitchen. <laughs> yeah, this ghost cooked me a, a steak. No, seriously <laughs> though, this this hotel, we literally can't wait to go back. Yeah, yeah, it's like we're thinking we, about making it a once every six months thing. We got there and you know got into our room. Really great quality fireplace. Kind people. Kind people. Even are, the maintenance guy was like, "Hey, yeah. what's up?" <laughs> we 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 you know we're exploring the hotel a little bit in our back patio. We were on the ground floor, right by the river. I actually picked a ground floor so we would be closer to the river because I wanted the sound of the running water. And so our little patio actually had a gate off of it where you could access right down onto the riverbank. And they had like those like split rail park, fences. Well, the park grills. Is yeah, where I was going. That's like kind of like it's concreted into the ground, yeah. but you can use it if you happen to bring charcoal with you. So next yeah. time we might bring charcoal yeah. with us. And we're sitting there leaning on the split rail fence, looking at the water, looking at the uh, <laughs> looking the, at the, the incredibly the, expensive resort across the creek. No, from that's us. not what I was thinking. I was thinking we were looking up at the peak and you were distracted by. Oh the, yeah, I was uh, looking. I was excavators. looking at the construction equipment because <laughs> I grew up in a construction family. I was like, oh, that's a Caterpillar eleven thirty eight. Yeah, I know that. I've driven one of those. Yeah, um, and, and then a guy comes walking up and we start chatting. It turns out he's their new maintenance man. He's like, you need anything? Let me know. What room are you in? <laughs> like. Don't know if I want to tell you, creepy maintenance man at the motel in the mountains. <laughs> he wasn't creepy. They he was, had he was a, super a cool. lovely he was super cool. pool and hot Heated tub. Heated pool and hot tub. We met some very fascinating people. We did. We met a woman who is basically like <clears throat> a sales mover and shaker for a liquor company. A bourbon company. Bur she brought us samples. I want to say it was Branch and Barrel. Was Branch and Barrel. Yep, it yeah. was Branch and Barrel. And she was up there for this, like, whiskey tasting festival. We didn't go. No, we... It was like we were 50, hung over. It was 50 bucks a ticket. And we were hung over. I was and hung over. Also, and incredibly dry. Yeah, oh my gosh. We actually turned the shower Dude, on like, and just, like, yeah. steamed our room for a while. <laughs> we, we sat in the room the next morning. We woke up and we had drank a decent amount the night yeah. before. But not more than we, you know, a normal, like, blow-off steam weekend we drank. No. But woke up the next day and, like, my eyes were welded shut. Like, it was that dry. I had it woken up crazy. pretty early and I wasn't able to sleep. So I had actually walked down into the town because we were really close to like the shopping district. The kind of historic part of Estes yeah. Park. So I walked down. I walked down. I found a coffee shop, got myself a coffee. There was um, in Colorado, they have these areas called open spaces, which are like designated. Designated wildland. Yes. Where they keep it as it was, as it was before there were settlers. Yeah. So I, is, well, sort of. As much as possible. Right. They, they'll put trails through them and stuff well, like yeah, that. Well, yeah, well, the one I they went They keep the prairie to, grass and yeah, that kind of yeah. stuff, and they keep it so as natural as they can. So there was one kind of right there in the heart of the downtown, and it had kind of a bluff, and I looked up, and there was some kind of stone structure at the top. So I'm like, well, okay, you know, I've got some time. I had gotten a, a banana nut muffin, and, Didn't you know. Didn't give me one. Um, you were asleep, and I was hungry. <laughs> Banana's my favorite kind of bread. And I walked up, and it was an old stone bungalow cabin by, like, one of the early settlers in the area that had been burnt out, and they still had the shell, and they, you know, maintained it. There was, like, great walkways you could stand on. But I, you know, just sat there looking out over the town, looking at Long's Peak and the mountains and the snow, drinking yeah. my coffee. And then I walked back up, and by that point, he was awake. So I walked three miles. <laughs> She walked three miles to get away from me for a few hours. Well, you're in a hotel room. I'm awake. Yeah. You're asleep. I would feel really bad moving around and like yeah. And there's not a whole lot of room because you and, would have woken me up, right? And yeah. because of restrictions and stuff, it's not like I could have gone and just sat in the breakfast area. Yeah, I yeah. So I mean, you could have. There were people doing it when I went the next morning. Yeah, I didn't want to. But um, so. It was so dry that when I woke up that morning, like literally my eyes were welded shut. Yeah. It was that kind of dry. 
And so we ended up like, I got so desperate that I just turned the heat on all the way in the shower, like turned on the full hot water and just steamed the entire room to get some humidity yeah. into us. Cause like we both had dry hacking coughs and like, yeah, dry next time gums. we're going to bring our, our little humidifier. Dry with gones. Us. My yeah, gones are all dried yeah. out. It was bad. But. And it was a lovely week. It was a way. great trip, and everybody yeah. we met there was incredibly yeah. like so nice, fun, and nice and cool. And and we discovered a oh, new yeah. hey, we, a we new company. Another shout out. So we yeah. have who do we have so far? The Stanley Ranch and Barrel. The Stanley Ranch and Barrel. Murphy's Rivers Murphy's Lodge. Rivers Lodge and Elkins Whiskey. That's going to be backwards on my camera. The only place you can currently find Elkins Whiskey is in. Estes Park. Estes Park. And if I turn it around, you can see how much is in your flask if you buy one of their flasks. It's very handy for those of us who are never quite sure how much we've drank. But yeah, we, we went in on Friday when we got there because we had walked down and, you know, ended visited, up kind of visited talking the area. for like 45 minutes with the young lady at uh, the Highland Bard. Yes, the um, Highland Bard. Because we had many things in common. We need to get in touch with her because yes. they want to start a podcast. And we need we offered to give them some advice, so we're yeah. going to be doing that. And they just seemed like and cool people. Like cool we did people. never get to meet the dad. We didn't. We didn't go back no, the next we didn't. day. We, we should have, but we didn't. It no, was we didn't. freezing cold yes. the next day. Oh, and Lithium. And Lithium. Uh, it's a skate shop in Estes Park. They sell skateboards in a place where it snows nine months out of the year. <laughs> That's how dedicated they are. I have a hat now. Yes, he does. Um, We're... All sorts of cool shit. Like, yeah, I'm trying to remember. Like, we went into Elkins, and they and, were, you know, if you were 21, you could get samples of the different whiskeys. Oh, man, such good whiskey. And I tried two. Um, I don't remember. Was it the Christmas one first? No, it was... I, I had the standard and yeah. the honey. Yeah, and I had the honey, which I'm really picky now about honey whiskeys because that's I've had her, really that's her bad... That's kind of whiskey is honey whiskey. I like honey whiskey. And they make theirs with actual honey. Colorado honey. Colorado honey, yeah. And, like, it was, like, just lovely, wonderful flavor. We're going to go back and get bottles next yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> it's And it's, like, an hour and a half yeah. drive from us, so we could literally drive up there just to get whiskey. And it's not like, it's not like, you know, flying to New York to have a steak. No. It's like not even a half a tank of gas. Yeah. Round trip. So. Oh, We're definitely going to get gonna gas. Go. Yes. You have to get yeah. gas tomorrow. Yeah. I have to get gas tomorrow. He told me to remind him. Yeah. That's going to be bad. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was a great trip. Mm -hmm. And since we got back. We've been working, both yeah. of us, and I've been working on getting Brimstone ready and getting Spaceman written. We have, I now have three episodes of Brimstone scheduled. Yes. I'm going to schedule more tonight. They're going to be coming out every week. Every Thursday. Every Thursday, from now until 15 weeks pass. It's in, I have it in my, in my calendar, what the last date is, but I don't know it off the top of my head, because... Yep. Huh. Dates and things and math. You but know what I have to say about that? Fuck it. Yep. Yeah. Say fuck it's gonna it. run for fifteen weeks. It's gonna run for fifteen weeks and then something else is gonna happen. Yep. Don't know what yet. <laughs> it depends on what gets recorded written and recorded first. Yeah. And I'm hoping, my plan is that it's Spaceman, but it could be just me doing scat into a microphone for 20 minutes <laughs> at a time until I can figure out something else. No, no, scat, not mouth noises. I'm not doing an ASMR podcast. That would be <laughs> hilarious, but I'm not going to do one. No, it's shoobity bop, zoo, 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 I never learned how to scat. I had to because I had a speech impediment. That she actually heard for the first time. Yeah, right? like, he was like, hey, listen to this, and I, there was something in it, and I was like, what She's is like, that? Well, like, what you said was there's some high, di there's some, di some distortion in the high frequencies, and I listened back, and I was like, you mean on Brimstone, and is brought to you by Lantern Audio Works? And she was like, yeah. I was like, you're hearing my lisp. 
Like, for the first time ever, yeah. you're hearing I've my list. I've never noticed it before. Yeah, good. Eight years of yeah, speech therapy I know. to get rid of my list because I used to talk between my teeth. I used to talk with my tongue between my teeth. And now I don't. So, that's the first time she's ever heard my lisp, which is was, very interesting to me because yeah. I hear it all the time. Well, yeah, you know what to listen yeah. for. And it's part of the reason I'm such a stickler about audio quality because I hear the, the whistle mm-hmm. in my S's. So... I'm really picky about it because, you know, when you're told that you talk wrong yeah. for the first 14 years of your life, yeah, you take it personally. Yeah, beyond that, I've got um, oh, yeah. two more You've Ukrainian folktales coming out this month and our patron-only folktale um, for our patrons over on Patreon. Link um, below. I am working on Wild Contingent, which, if I had to describe it, I would call it a Wild West urban fantasy. I'd call it cowboy punk. But that's because if you put put punk after anything, (laughs) the kids will like it. Prospector punk? Because it's dealing more with miners than with cowboys. Placer punk. Panner punk? Panner punk? I don't know. Uh, my, my main did character... I just invent, did I just invent probably. new subgenres? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. But uh, the main character of that is a young woman, first generation Italian, who in the 1890s... First generation Italian American. Yes. Her parents came over from Italy. Yeah. Um, she works for the Pinkertons. And is sent up into the mountains surrounding Estes Park because weird stuff has been happening. And the mine owners have called her in. Well, they've called in a Pinkerton agent. Well, and it ended up being. And this it ended young up being lady. a woman, which is one of the biggest superstitions that uh, miners have. Like they're like sailors. Yeah. You don't send a woman into the mines. You don't. No. Don't let a woman be on the ship. Yep, so playing into a lot of mining superstitions and adding oh. that fantastical twist. It's going to be fucking and that's good. that's all you're going to get. It's going to be fucking good. But it will be my first original fiction podcast, and we're hoping to have it come out later this year, I believe around August. I think that's what we were talking yeah, about. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's, on, it's, on the, it's on the board. It's on the board for August. Which means I have to get writing. Yeah, no shit. Means I have to get writing too. Yeah. Um. And yeah, so. all all sorts of shit coming now that Brimstone is done, mm-hmm. and that albatross is no longer around my neck. Oh, good. I'm for some reason when you started talking about mining superstitions about women, I started thinking about albatrosses. Sailing superstitions. Yeah. Okay. Because that made me think of. Uh, uh, Serenity, the movie, ah, not the show Firefly. I have not seen it yet, no spoilers. <clears throat> the girl is an albatross. Seems to me the albatross was good luck till some idiot, some idiot shot it. What? I read a poem. Don't look so surprised. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, the albatross I have was good informed. luck until some idiot shot it. I was informed. I cannot watch Serenity until I have finished Firefly. I have not finished Firefly yet, therefore I cannot watch Serenity. It's not my fault. No. Somebody else gave me that dictum. Yeah. Like, none of it's my fault. It's not my fault. Okay. All right. Um, But yeah, that's kind of on top of, you know, making flowers for the the wedding. wedding. Yeah. Which is also coming. And the new car, which is coming. And the new car, which is coming. And my job. And my job. Which are not coming. We've had them for yes. a couple months. I've had mine since October. I've had mine since July. I like my job for the most part. Way better than the one I had before it, at least. I don't like my job for the most part. I know. I like the people I work with directly. Yeah. Most of them. Yeah. That's about it. So support us on Patreon so I can quit my job and do this full time and get some better stuff out for you guys. Or more often. Mm-hmm. If nothing else, more frequently, more regularly. And we are at almost 25 minutes. 
So I think it's a pretty good place for us to stop for yes, tonight. Yes, this will come out this coming Wednesday because I'm about to upload this and edit this as soon as we're done with this. I'm going to be going from sitting on the floor right here to sitting in a chair right here. And I'm going to turn those on. Yes. Hey, that's where I record shit, by the way, right behind her head, right there. You see, that's my SM58 right there. That's one of my mics. Hey, look, wait, wait. Okay, you can move your head there. There's another one of my mics. And over here, there's some more of my mics. And not to mention and that. And there's mic. another mic up there. Like we <laughs> and, and the mic I use. And there's is a mic right out, up there. another mic over and there's a couple more in the closet. Is there yeah, and her SM58 and is my right SM58. here. Yeah. Uh, we I did the count today and I realized that just like in this room there are like nine microphones. Because we have three of the Astons. Yep. We have my road. Yep. We my have shotgun. The road lapels. We we have the road lapels. So that's, f wait, three Astons, my road shotgun, the road lapels. We have the two road videos. Yeah. Um. We have the two SM58s. We have the two SM58s. <laughs> we have lots of microphones. Oh, and I have a couple other lapel mics as well that I don't use anymore. So yeah. we have like twelve mics in this room. Not mentioning, not counting mics that are like on phones and attached to cameras Just and stuff like that. Just external microphones. microphones. <laughs> Why? We can only hook up like five at a time, <laughs> and we I only will, use one at a, or two at a time. I will say the Rode <clears throat> lapel mics. Oh, dude, are awesome. The Rode Wireless Go To is a we great streamed system. for six hours yesterday using yep. them. Yep, stream for six hours on our been, Twitch channel. Our Twitch channel, Lantern Playing underscore AW on Twitch. Link below. Soon to be a link on the website as soon as I get back into the website and add a yeah. link. I think I did add a link, actually. I don't remember. I'll have to check our website. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but, it's been quite a week. Let's yeah, just put it yeah, that it way. Has. So, you're getting a long vlog because you're not getting the other vlog that's yeah. going to patrons. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see, you got to be a patron. It's going to take a little bit of time to get there because I can only work on it like have like 15 minutes to a half an hour a day mm -hmm. with everything else going on, but we're getting there. And well, I feel like I look like a turtle when I do that. <laughs> do I look like a turtle? Distractions. Awkward turtle. Do you know what my favorite is? Hmm. Awkward flagpole. <laughs> my fiance everyone you're the one who did awkward turtle I, I am awkward turtle i know okay so yeah i think that's going to be up be all from us yeah. be us from us is what i was going to oh, say okay you know it doesn't make any it's, English. it's getting late it is and we both had quite a week and quite a weekend yes so i have hair eyebrows Yes. The the bane of getting older is your eyebrows interfering with your vision. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I think that's more of a dude problem. I think so. For I don't some know. Reason. I don't know if ladies have that problem, but yeah, like There's there's no wonder that Gandalf had such bushy brows. When I the first time I went to the hairdresser, I used to go to a hairdresser. Yeah, shocking. I used to have hair. Um I went to the hairdresser and she was like, "Let me just get those for you." And like trimmed down my eyebrows. I was like, motherfucker. Okay. So this is a fuck it vlog, basically. Yep. And Hello and welcome to <laughs> Hello. our internal monologues. As we say them out loud to each other. Uh, and yeah. you. And you. And you. And you. If I had sunflower seeds. Um, I don't know why. I'm thinking of like some kind of weird ritual. I'm thinking of that bird lady. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking of pomegranates now. Oh, that's a Don't different... Don't eat the pomegranates. I mean, if, unless you want to. If, just if, if, be... if, a, if a kind man who seems overburdened with work offers you a pomegranate, don't take it. Just don't. Unless you want to. Unless you want to. Unless it's, you know, a job you could foresee for yourself. Yeah, I mean, unless dread is in your name, don't take the pomegranates. But anyway, we're going to be done for now. Yes. So, links to everything are where links go. And, 
Yeah, that's going to be it for us from this week. You were going to say something else because you're always about to say something else, I and I'm trying to say... do that. I don't remember now. <laughs> She's wonderful at interrupting the outro. It's I think I was going to gonna start the skill. outro. It's. <laughs> I honestly think that's what I was going to do. Do you want to start the outro? You never start the outro. Do you no, want to start the outro? I, think I, should, I can't. I think you should start the <laughs> outro now. I think of it right now. And it's gone. It starts with and. It starts with and. And until next time. Yes, that's how the outro starts. Would you like to start the outro? We'll, we'll go back and forth. You do the first line. <laughs> and until next time. Oh, one more try. You got to say it. <laughs> say it like you're announcing it on television. And until next time. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.